so coming to the today's class let me try to discuss about uh, uh, like uh, previously i discussed about uh, javascript with variables data types equality versus non equality comparisons and also string interpolation uh, like this i discussed about queries electron queries electoral so today also let us discuss some other topics i'm presented in the javascript after completion of this mostly i'm try to complete this after completion of this i'll start with the lwc installation part how to install your lwc okay so how to connect your salesforce with uh, your uh, visual studio code these are all the things which i'm going to be discussing in today's class okay i'm sharing my screen everyone had attended everyone had listened uh, saturday class sai kiran raj yes. the people who missed the class everyone had listened the saturday class everyone had listened please respond what about rajan sai no venkat no venkat i am unable to attend the other two now okay fine you listen the class saturday class i didn't attend the venkat i didn't attend that one yes i am saying that you did not attend the six correct but you listen the class or not what about uh, ram Hello? you listen the saturday class ramgiri i don't have access to this batch uh, drive Easy. but uh, please yeah. send an email id if me i'll give you access okay after completion of yeah, the sure. class now only please send the email id okay i'll give the access sure sure okay let me try to start with the things okay so in anyone remembered uh, like in elda in uh, salesforce triggers we have for each loop anyone remembered yes so inkat so similarly to iterate the data so in the javascript also we have a for each loop okay like we have map and we have for each loop to iterate the data okay to filter the data we have filter option okay to sort the data either in ascending order or descending order we have a sort option okay let us discuss about all these things i'll not see each and everything it will be important for your lwc in lwc the concepts will be will be different in lwc we'll use a template for each loop like that but here just in javascript i'm explaining all this concept first of all let's see map concept okay so i'm creating one array everyone i'm saying that for example if you are attending the today's class please complete the previous class because lwc is important okay just i'm creating some array just i'm iterating this particular array array dot map of just this is the uh, syntax function of current item comma index comma actual array i'll not say this particular thing will be helpful for your lwc just normally for your understanding i'm explaining console dot log of hey one minute console dot log of just i'm mentioning the current item current item in terms the first item whatever it may be okay index array array in terms of entire array whatever it may be presented entire array okay array in terms of entire array whatever information okay 
So I am multiplying return current item into the first item. Okay, initially. Later on the second item. Later on the third item. This is the thing. Initially, it is easy to iterate the data. Initially, it is easy to take the two. Two into two. What is two into two? Four. Okay, again it is iterated the data. Again, three into two, six. Again, five into two, ten. Seven into two, fourteen. Nine into two, eighteen. Ten into two, twenty. Like this. Okay, just I am multiplying each element with the. Okay, just I am control as I am saving the data. Okay, if you want to see the output, how you can see the output? Just you need to click on go live option. Anyone started practicing this HTML and JavaScript? It's been good. I have started. What about Raju and other people? Sir, started sir. HTML has started. Okay, fine. I have also started doing it. HTML. Okay, okay, okay. Please complete it as soon as possible because we are starting LWC. Okay, sir. Just I close it. This server it is immediately it is opening to the uh, like a reachable Google Chrome whatever it may be. Yes. Okay. If you want to see the output, just click on inspect. Yes. Everyone able to see the output current item two index zero two three five seven nine nine current item two okay just I want to print the data okay if you want to print the data okay console dot log of new array you can able to see the output everyone able to see the output four six ten means it is a multi each number is multiplied with two everyone able to see four six ten fourteen eighteen twenty everyone able to see this. Everyone able to see the output? Yes. Okay, means I am iterating the data after that I am multiplying each number with the two. Okay. And let's see the for each loop. Okay. For each loop also same. It is easy to iterate the data. Okay, just I am storing the result in uh, this array numbers dot for each just i'm using for each loop for each loop was also it read the data element comma index comma array okay just whatever it may be just i'm adding plus one with each element i'm adding this result to the element whatever it may be Initially, 1 plus 1, what is 1 plus 1? 2. Later on, 2 plus 1, 3. Later on, 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. Just I'm adding to this result array. Console.log of result. Yes. Everyone able to see the output 2, 3, 4? Initially, what is the in, uh, input? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. Okay, what is the result? Everyone able to see the result? 2 plus 1 means it is multiplied with plus 1 on each and every item. Everyone able to observe this? Yes. Just I'm using a for each loop to iterate each and every data. After that, I'm multiplying. I'm multiplying. I mean, I'm adding plus 1 to each and every array. Initially, it is 1 plus 1, 2. Later on, I'm adding to this result. Again, I'm iterating the data. Again, 2 plus 1, 3. Again, 3 plus 1, 4. Okay, later on I am printing the result. Okay, this is the thing. Everyone able to understand? Yes, okay, let's see one more. Filter. Filter means it is easy to filter the data. Previously, I declared array. Let me try to change the naming convention. Okay, just I'm filtering the data which is greater than 18. Okay, greater than 18. Okay, I'm filtering the data. 
Okay, just I'm filtering the data which is greater than 18. Array dot filter. Okay, just I'm filtering the data which is greater than 18. Current item in terms, it is easy to take the present item. Okay. Later on, it is easy to iterate. Okay, for example, if it is greater than 18 means it is easy to store in the filtered values. Again, it is easy to iterate the data. Until completion of this array, it is easy to iterate the data. Console.log of Okay, filtered values. It is showing empty. I want to iterate the data. I want to iterate the data. See, I need to array 11. Okay, just array 11, not array, array 11. Okay. Now you can able to see the output. Everyone able to see the output 23, 45, 34, 19. You are iterating the data. After iterating the data, it is easy to printing all the data which are greater than 18. Everyone able to observe? Chandrasekhar, Ramgiri, everyone able to observe? I am getting the data which are greater than 18. Yes. This is the thing. Let's take sort. Sort is nothing but it is easy to sort the data which is ascending order or descending order. Okay, just I'm mentioning. LET sorted values. Just I'm sorting the data. Okay, just I'm mentioning points dot sort. These are the inbuilt function me methods. Okay, inbuilt methods. In interview, they will not ask you these are all the things. Just only for your understanding. Even in LWC, also not been useful that much. Okay, just if you mention return A minus B, it is easy to sort the data in ascending order. Okay, you can able to see. Console.log of. Okay, if you mention A minus B, it is easy to sort the data in ascending order. See, 10, 12, 39, 54, 80. For example, if it's B minus A, it is easy to sort the data in descending order. See, everyone able to see it is easy to sort the data in descending order if it's a B minus A. If it's A minus B, it is easy to sort the data in ascending order. If it's B minus E, it is easy to sort the data in descending order. This is the thing. Just everyone able to understand what is going on entire architecture. Just normally what is filter, what is sort. For each is nothing but it is easy to iterate the data. In LWS, we will use a template for each loop in HTML, not in JavaScript. By using wire method, we will retrieve the data. After that, we will use a template for each loop inside the HTML just to iterate all the data and place information. Yeah. Everyone understanding? Sai Kiran, Saujanya, everyone understanding? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Let us see another concept which is a promises. Okay, promises are used to handle. This is a theoretical concept, but I'll explain this theoretical practically in uh, LWC, asynchronous operations. Okay. They, they are easy to manage. When dealing with Okay, multiple asynchronous operation. For example, just imagine I want to iterate the contact records. Okay. Just imagine I want to iterate the contact records. First, I'll retrieve that particular data. Okay, I'll retrieve that particular data through Apex class after that. For example, he stored all the co uh, contact records like this. Okay, this is the syntax of promises. For example, if the result is there, Okay, just imagine if the result is there. I'm storing this information inside. Okay, whatever the information. For example, if the result is there. For example, if the result is not there. Okay. If there is an error. Okay, when loading the data, if there is an error. 
Just I'm showing the error in future also I'll show you. For example, if the information is there, okay, it is a success message. Okay, promise will be divided into if the information is there, it is used to be going to success. If the information is not there, when loading the data, if you got failure, immediately it will print the failure error message. Okay. If the information is there, it is used to print that particular records. If the information is not there, immediately it is used to going to the failure stage. Okay. This time giving some promise. Mainly promise is used to load. For example, just imagine there are different types of function. Mainly we'll use a promise dot all if you required means. Whenever if you want to load all the third party APIs at a time once. Okay. Okay, then we can use a promise dot all function. Okay, mainly when we are fetching the data from the backend server, means backend server in terms of Apex classes. Okay, whenever if you are fetching the data, okay, these are all the things in this particular situation. We'll use a promises. Okay, we'll use a promises, but I'll explain these promises in uh, when I'm teaching LWC. Okay, when I'm teaching LWC. I'll explain this particular concept promises in LWC. Okay, just only for reference purpose, I give an idea. Chandrasekhar, I discussed about query selector and query selector. Do you remember? Saujanya. Yes, sir. Yeah, what about query selector? What you had been remembered? Any idea? Saujanya. Saujanya, do you remember? Chandrasekhar, do you remember about query selector? Whenever if you want to load uh, that HTML, yesterday I discussed, yesterday in terms of Saturday I discussed, whenever if you want to load the HTML data to the JavaScript, we'll use query selector. If you want to load all the tags, we'll use query selector all. It is yes. important. Okay, so another is events. Okay, on performing any action. Okay, it needs to be stored to JavaScript. On performing any action in the HTML, it needs to be triggered to JavaScript. Okay, there are some standard events are there. In LWC also we'll use on key up. For example, if you are entering the data inside the input box, Okay, I want to store inside the JavaScript. We'll use. For example, if you're clicking the button, okay, immediately JavaScript need to trigger that. We'll use on click. Okay. On click. I'll show you. This thing I'll show you. Let me try to close this. Okay, for example, I'm clicking the button. Okay. On click of this. Every time when we are clicking the button, we'll use. Okay, on click of this particular button, immediately the first function will be called. Okay, whenever if you click at this, immediately the first function will be called. And just I'm triggering. Okay, I'm triggering the first function. Console.log of. Okay, on click of this, immediately the first function will be called. In LWC, we will directly trigger that particular function name. But in JavaScript, we need to mention function, function name. Okay, on click of the second function. It is important in LWC, every component will use. Just I'm mentioning.
okay just i'm clicking this remove handler okay just i'm calling i am second function okay on click of this particular button immediately the second function will be called okay on click of the second function immediately the second function will be called remove handler button you can able to see see just i'm clicking one immediately we'll get inspect just i'm going to the inspector console okay just if you clicked on this it is showing the error okay remove handler is not defined it is showing uh, some error in lwc no need to interlink javascript and html here only we need to interlink see everyone able to see on click of this immediately it is triggering on click of this remove handler everyone able to observe this everyone able to observe please respond yes sir yeah this is the thing uh like uh, uh ramgiri uh, in lwc uh, like uh, we have do you remember in lwc sorry in pega whatever it may be just we'll use vs code you'll use any package.xml to retrieve all the data uh, ramgiri pega uh yes yes printed here also we can do it okay even we can use the same tool or other tools also in our project also we are we are connecting with uh, git with our org we, we are retrieving the data from the package.xml okay just we are connecting and uh, we are creating the feature branch under the higher orgs and uh, like we are sending okay the information we are creating the pull request in that particular feature branch for example just imagine in that but if you merged all the changes okay in future if you want to revert just by clicking on the revert button immediately you can revert roll back all the changes okay same process but here we are connecting with salesforce org that's it okay same for example just imagine okay when you are sending from the qa to ua to ua to environment train movement happened there is no pull request okay then what you will do just whatever the information you created i think through lower arcs you had been done okay immediately uh, you will create again just another pull request to modify all the changes to delete the data just uh, immediately you will create another pull request then, then immediately uh, if the information has been merged means all the changes whatever it may be it will be deleted okay okay just uh, i'm discussing another function is set timeout and set time interval okay i'm discussing another thing which is nothing but set timeout and set time interval set timeout is nothing but after completion of okay after completion of uh, exit missed after completion of all the timer okay after the timer expires okay for example if you mention 1000 milliseconds after completion of the 1000 milliseconds this action will be executed okay set interval is nothing but in between the 1000 milliseconds okay in between the 1000 milliseconds multiple times the code will be executed after completion of the 1000 milliseconds code will be executed in between the 1000 milliseconds multiple times the code will be executed set time out means after completion of okay i'm saying again after completion of 1000 milliseconds the code will be executed okay in between the 1000 milliseconds multiple times the code will be executed you can able to see
set time mode Okay, just after completion of the thousand milliseconds. Okay, this allow will be executed. Console dot log of timer ID. Okay, after completion of the thousand milliseconds, this information will be executed. Okay, and another is set time mode. But let me try to execute set to interval. Okay, in between the thousand milliseconds. Okay, in between, uh, like in between the thousand milliseconds. Okay, for example, if you mention ten thousand milliseconds, in between the ten thousand milliseconds, multiple times the information will be executed. You can click on inspect. Let's see. Okay, after completion of the thousand milliseconds. Okay, the first hello is executed. In between the ten thousand milliseconds, multiple times hi will be executed. Let's see. Let's wait. Set time out and set interval. Yes, everyone able to see hi executed two times. Like this, in between the ten thousand milliseconds, multiple times, I will be executed. Everyone able to see here under the left side the third time. We cannot estimate the exact time. Like this, it will be okay until this ten uh, thousand milliseconds, multiple times, I will be executed. Okay. We cannot estimate the exact time in between the ten thousand milliseconds. Multiple times, I will be executed. Yes. See seven times. Like this, multiple times I will be executed. Okay, just it is going fourteen times like this until completion of ten thousand milliseconds. It will execute multiple times. This is the thing, and I hope everyone able to understand. Okay, these are all some of the concepts I discussed about JavaScript. Uh, everyone able to understand what about the set time out and set time interval? Awesome. Anyone have any queries? Okay, fine, good. So this is about the things. Let me try to start with LWC. Before starting with LWC, 
okay just i'm closing all the folder okay just to click on file click on close folder i am closing my folder okay by tomorrow uh, we will change the link uh, ramgiri i will add you to the whatsapp group okay like tomorrow i'll change the link and uh, we will send the link in okay. whatsapp group okay updated link okay just okay. this is my visual uh, visual studio code first let me try to install the extensions okay I provided the steps one by one. Okay, let me try to go to the SFTC development. I provided the steps one by one. Okay, just I'll add you. I'll uh, first you need to download the Salesforce CLI. Okay, just you need to download. First, I'm copying it. First, you need to download it. Okay, first you need to download, download for Windows X64. Ours is Windows version, click the Windows. Okay, download for Windows X64. Download this. Okay, everyone, first download this. Vikash, are you joining again the classes? Yes, sir. Are you joining the classes again? Yes, sir. Okay. If you are interested, once uh, 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 intimate our team and complete the payments, okay. Once uh, call them, yeah. In LWC again, if you are interested. Tomorrow onwards, link will be. Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, just if you clicking this. Once contact our team, then we can complete the payment registration. Tomorrow onwards, we are changing the link. Click on next. Just enable this. Add local path. Just enable this option also. Click on install. It is installing. Okay, let's minimize it. Fine. What is your next step? There is a steps are there. Accordingly, you can follow it. Okay, just you downloaded the Visual Studio Code. Okay, next you need to download the extension pack under the Visual Studio Code. Just you can. Yes, install this extension pack, Salesforce extension pack. Everyone, please install the Salesforce extension pack. Yeah, the next go to this folder okay see users okay administration dot vs code okay wait wait for some time it will be okay navigate to file explorer c drive users just i'm going to the administration dot vs code means your name whatever it may be okay just i'm creating one folder LWC component number batch like that I am creating one folder. Okay, just I am clicking on new. like lwc components okay just i'm creating a one more one folder lwc components number batch okay just you can click on open folder same wherever you created the folder just load it dot vs code okay just you can click on select folder yes everyone able to say i loaded the folder
everyone able to say i loaded the folder successfully yes sir okay my next step okay i loaded the folder successfully i had been installed previously that's why can without this also i can able to proceed okay first you need to install this you need to complete the installation part still here at the end okay control shift to p okay just i did not connect it. i need to create a subfolder inside this create a project with manifest it will activate the extensions wait for a while it will activate the extension wait for a while okay after installing this sfdx okay after installing this sfds go to the command prompt okay type sfdx immediately we'll get the versions each and every details you can able to observe wait for a while you'll get a versions like that when you got a versions means okay this uh, sfdx has been installed successfully okay if you command prompt not found something if you got means your sfdx not installed first you need to install each and every that particular software i'm downloading now wait wait for a while it is completed okay you can close it may take some time no worries okay control shift p okay just i'm creating a subfolder create project with manifest select the standard everyone able to see the standard one okay just i'm creating lwc components see immediately it is going i'm creating the project here only click on create project yes this is the folder you can able to see everyone able to see the folder everyone able to see the folder please respond it is somewhat tricky everyone able to see this folder yes sir now i am connecting my visual studio code with salesforce click on no default org set okay it is activating the extension okay you need to connect visual studio code with salesforce you need to click on the no default org set wait for a while okay don't worry uh, like anyone uh, opened anyone joined with laptop anyone joined with laptop here i think you can also share your screen in between ram giri you joined with laptop i'll give you access i'll guide you it may take some time okay now to activate all the extensions yeah it has activated click on authorize an org okay select the project default okay i am selecting my org name venkat okay immediately it will be connected to uh, internet uh, google chrome immediately it will be connected to google chrome let's see let's wait for few minutes See, just you can enter your uh, details. Thank you. 
see everyone able to see you can you have successfully logged in you can now close this okay means your visual studio code with connected with sales so everyone able to see okay means your visual studio code is been successfully connected okay just i am opening the salesforce login let me try to open the salesforce login just i am connecting with my org i connected my salesforce org with visual studio code Yeah, we connected like whatever the information you deployed here immediately it will be connected to the salesforce org a bit somewhat difficult but try to see the video again for installation part see everyone able to see sfdx when you run the sfdx everyone able to see that it is showing the version everything Even SFDX CLI also had been installed successfully. Yeah. Everyone able to understand? I think no response from anyone. Anyone can able to share your screen also. I'm giving you access. Installation part is important. Uh -huh. Yes, Chandrasekhar. Uh -huh. You join with mobile phone or see the video and do the installation part and share the document also. What about Saujanya Ramgiri? Okay, if you are facing... Okay, I finished this installation. Okay, good, good. For example, if you are facing difficulty on this installation part, everything. Don't worry, just I am going to the visit Chrome Web Store. Okay, search for Lightning Studio. This is an easy one. But do this at least once. Okay, just add to Chrome. Okay. Just add to Chrome. Okay, previously it not to be pinned. Uh, uh, it will be presented in the extension. Just to pin it. Okay, go to your org and open this org. Okay. Open this org. That's it. Okay, immediately it will be org will be open. That's it. Anything is fine. It's your wish completely. Okay. Just you can use Lightning Studio if you are facing difficulty on everything. Just you can go and do with Lightning Studio. Okay, navigate to extensions and then what is my extension name? Lightning Studio. Yeah, you can do anything. Okay, just you can open the org, then only you can open this uh, uh, Lightning Studio. Okay, it will be connected. But I'm not discussing how to create an LWC component, just I installed uh, how to do this particular process. Let me try to, I think, let me try to give her access to Ramagiri. Ramagiri, please mention your email. Uh, 
a event that I posted in the chat. Guri dot villa at gmail. Okay. Raji, you also don't have an access. Raji, you completed payment. I listened that you did not complete a payment. You completed the payment. Okay, fine. No worries. Uh, let me try to create from tomorrow onwards. Let me try to create my first LWC component. I'll go one by one from tomorrow onwards. Everyone kindly please attend the classes regularly from tomorrow onwards. And uh, let's see what we need to be. Let, mostly uh, by next two weeks, we'll complete the portion okay, of the LWC. Means we have uh, other portions also, but 50% of the portion, let me try to complete is in 10 days, whatever it may be possible. This is about today's class team. Thank you. Let's meet again tomorrow. Okay. Uh, because only for the people who registered, we will give the access. Okay. If you are interested ones, please contact the team and register for the training. Okay. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Vikash. Thank you. Especially for LWC. Yeah. Okay. I'm stopping the recording. This is about today's class team. Just I completed the JavaScript and also I completed the installation part. Tomorrow onwards, I'm going to be discuss about my first LWC component. Uh, like what is LWC and LWC basics. One by one, I'm going to be discussed. Uh, this is about today's class team. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Bye.